Right. So now let's continue from uh, where we left off. Uh, we are designing our website so that we have users and um, uh, users' ability to register and users' ability to log in. So um, uh, let me show you the login control. Uh, this is the login form, and um, we want to the behavior. We want to make sure that um, the destination page you are when they log in. Remember, I said to you when they log in, which they get logged into. Uh, let's create a, another page. Let's be let's 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 be fancy. Let's create another page called secured member area. You know, very secured. <laughs> right. So let's have this page and um, we want to select the master page okay which is fine actually I made a mistake I should have created another master page too anyway don't never mind so now uh, now that we have this if I go back to the login page and I select the destination page uh, under the behavior destination page URL um, you can see this is when people are logging this is where we want to direct them to also you can display anyway I don't want to go through I'm going to do the video for each controls just like I said so um, <coughs> uh, what else now the beauty and the best now let's make this fancy you can change the color you can see if you say auto format now can you see this is the one that we're currently using now which is just uh, blank we can um, um, change it to elegant let's choose a color that matches our website which is colorful I always knew this the colorful one always match the orange one so let's choose this apply and ok that uh, we also want to select the same thing for the register page so for the register page if you just click on this small arrow at the top here and just click on auto format you can choose the colorful one and uh, apply it so uh, it can be more elegant you know it can be more beautiful than just the uh, supplied uh, color which is the default can you see how beautiful this is now uh, so our website is getting into shape so we can go to the login let's try that username one and if it's of the password we log in and what do we get do we get to the secured member area that's what we told is to direct us to when we log in so and the register page as well everything is working so now what we want to do now is uh, <coughs> actually protect the secured member area so that um, uh, no before we get to that it would be nice if I tell you what the um, uh, something is gone wrong uh, okay it would be nice if I show you uh, the roles and what the roles is about um, I've enabled the roles so now I'm not going to create two roles I'm going to create the user roles, user roles, and I'm going to create the admin role. So the user role will be every user, and the admin roles will be the admin of the website. So if we go back to the security, I can manage users and I can say all the users now that the username one I want it to be a user and um, the username two to be a user username three to be a user so all of them are users so if I create a new user if I create it now I can choose if it's admin so let's create an admin role admin password email had me question who are you 
and your admin ha 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 right so this is as an admin so we can say that if we go to our user we have four users now we have four users if you match users we can say that one has an admin role and um, we can say like that can we let me show you uh, manage roles if I say admin manage you can see we only have one user which is the admin username <coughs> but because we haven't enabled roles in our website everybody will log on to the same thing I'll show you how to enable roles and uh, permissions everything so um, inside the web.config file that's where we do all the modifications so right now what else do we have in the login controls we have the login view we have the password recovery we have the login status we have a login name and actually let me show you how to use the login name uh, the best place to place this on the master page will be um, on the master page let's place it under the menu or at the top of the menu yes no 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 sorry right so if I say welcome welcome login name so this is what happened even that doesn't make sense I'll explain to you why why, why it just doesn't make sense because when the user are not logged in it displays welcome actually it makes a little bit of sense but you get a point um, you see I'm not logged in it only display welcome but if I log in if I log in it will display my username as username 1 welcome username 1 so this means you are logged in and it's directed to secured member area so that's how to use the login um, I don't want to get too much into the details on how to use all these controls because um, I'm going to be doing a thorough explanation of each one and just like I explained to you before the uh, login view this is where I should have had it under the welcome so that the login view for the logged out will not show anything here when the user is logged out if I drag and drop this login view login view here then you see I have anonymous template which is when you don't know who the user is and you have the logged in template so on the actually let me show you now so under the anonymous template it will be blank but under the logged in template we will have welcome then we'll have this control inside here uh, if I can drag and drop right so now let's delete that let's drag this login v up here so now let's run our application it should make more sense to you now you know the reason why I'm doing these things briefly is because um, um, this is a quick start guide it's not supposed to be an intense course I'm still gonna do everything intensely so you understand so you see there's nothing here now because we are using the anonymous template here but once I log in <coughs> let's log in it should say welcome username one unless I'll be a liar can you see that so you can actually control what people see when they logged in and when they log out so anyway I'm going to stop now I'm going to have my breakfast take some medicine get well and I'll be back thank you